guys as you know I do uh, mailbag videos every every week or two on the channel here this will be that but I just wanted to say thanks to my patreon supporters and all of you just watching my videos out there you're the ones who are funding the mailbags and those parts go into the projects going forward and I don't say thank you enough I reach out individually and I talk in discord with you guys but I just want to say thank you before we go into this video all right first up out of the box we got some things for a very cool addition to the shop. This is a new HDMI capture card we're going to be using for my new microscope for doing electronics repairs. What this is going to do is capture the HDMI output from the camera and allow us to share that with you guys on YouTube via hopefully good HD quality video. Along with that, I got some Smart Digital Life USB 3.0 uh, USB cables. This does require USB 3.0 and hopefully these cables will do the job. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you the entire new microscope. Pretty cool. Next up. Oh, very cool. I've been waiting for this forever. This is my new fish pump <laughs> except it's for reverse of a fish pump this is a little vacuum pump that I'm going to be using for SMD surface mount components uh, this is the second time I ordered this the first one fell through from the first supplier so I'm hoping this one's going to work basically it just draws a vacuum on some fishing line and allows me to pick up the components by uh covering this hole and when I cover this hole it'll put vacuum fully on the end at low pressure and it will be able to pick up surface surface mount components and then drop them on the board by releasing the hole in theory I've never used one before but it seems really really cool it seems like it just it makes sense to me and there's a few different ends I have lots of these uh, I've ordered assortments before for different things I don't know whether it's gonna be better than tweezers <sighs> I kind of think the tweezers might still be the way to go, but heck, let's try something new. Next up, more hot ends. Finally, these arrived. These are proper replacements for my Anycubic i3 Mega. This is a plug and play hot end. The i3 Mega has something very interesting. It allows you to, the hot end plugs in right into like a header connector right at the hot end. And then you have your standard Bowden tube uh, drive for your filament. I have not needed this. I have not even changed the nozzle. I have not even cleared the nozzle, not once on the printer. So I, I, I'm jumping the gun having spares, but for the price of them, it's very, very handy. If you end up with a pretty severe heat break issue, like blockage issue, I consider it obscenely rare, but you can just plug this in and be back in printing in minutes. So I got two of them because, well, you guys know me, I always order two. Next up, this is interesting. You guys, well, the ones who have followed the channel for a long time, you guys know, I am actually a licensed Red Seal certified automotive technician. And I ordered myself finally one of these uh, OBD2 Bluetooth interfaces. This interface is with um, just about any vehicle now. I think all countries are on board with the OBD2 interface. It started in the late 90s for us here in North America where there's a standard interface and standard data available in any car or any vehicle. It's not all the data, but it's some. Uh, I'm going to do a disclaimer. Beware. These things there's very little protections in your vehicle for the buses, the data buses that run to this port. There are several. It's not just the OBD2 interface. So if you get a cheap one, you could permanently, seriously damage your vehicle. But for the sake of the YouTube videos, I'll give it a go. Next up, we got some Dow Cyclone 5045 props for the quadcopters. Very, very cool. I, I love the Dow Cyclones. They just work. They take a beating. They look sharp. They're a uh, nice, clear, clear uh, finish. Love them. On top of that, I ordered a whole bunch that I have never used before. These are Racecraft. I have no idea. Oh, that is aggressive. Look at that. <laughs> that is a wicked, wicked looking prop. I have no idea how these are going to work. I've never tried them before. I got some various colors, and I think I might have got a couple of different pitches too. But 
yeah, we'll give them a go. I love their packaging. Very cool. And I also got a Betaflight flight controller. Uh, we'll do this in a separate video. I usually assemble these live on the live streams. I needed this for one of my quads, so handy dandy. What else we got? We got... Looks like microcontrollers. And indeed, they are. ESP 32s. These are the ESP WROOM, the WROOM 32, just ESP 32. This is in the Wemos D1 style form factor, but it's an ESP 32. Very, very cool. Powerful little microcontroller. We'll use those in an upcoming video. Alrighty, this is a little too big for the other bench. I'm quite excited to get my hands on this. With any luck, inside here should be a new microscope. Ah, oh, very cool. Go ahead. It's packaged really well. There wasn't even so much as a dent in the box. This came from AliExpress. I'll post the link down below and I'll do a full review on it coming up on the channel once we see how it performs. But that is how it came in the box. Comes with a cover, a full optical microscope. There should be a HDMI camera in here, an extra lens, and now I should be able to do surface mount soldering with this much, much easier than what I have been doing. I'm gonna go ahead and put this together, but uh, I'll save the rest for another video. Well, I hope you enjoyed that mailbag. Click a thumbs up if you did. More parts and more projects coming up, more tutorials. That week of making every new video every day was a lot of fun. I like to go back to that this fall, I think. See you guys in the next video. Have a good one.